is Stephen Lynn White. I am a native-born Memphian. I am a voice teacher here in Memphis and a performer trained here in Memphis and then in New York and overseas. I started singing, you know, in church, went to Tresvent High School. I didn't have any competition to Tresvent from <laughs> other people aspiring to uh, be in the opera. At the age of 15, I got to be in an opera and really liked it. There was just something about the marriage of music and acting, and I just knew at an early age that that's what I wanted to do. It gave me a thick skin as far as being willing to do something that uh, not many people were interested in hearing at first. My dad would always say, uh, this is great doing the opera thing, but when are you going to sing at the Grand Ole Opry? <laughs> I think when I was 20, I got to have, you know, a one-liner. And, uh, of course, my parents were very excited by that. I'm just a poor wayfaring stranger. There are things that I've done over the years that did not pay or paid very little that I would consider to be extremely professional. When I moved to New York and started doing things, and when I went out on the Phantom, of course, I, I felt like I could call myself a professional then. In that bright land to which I go. My favorite part, the whole process of putting it together, I would say. You get to meet everyone, you start to bond with them, forge some friendships that you know, last after the show is over. So you get to work on that, figure out what you're going to do, figure out what the director wants you to do, start to work in the costumes, you know, rehearsals with the orchestra, and then finally all of that coming together, especially in an operatic or a musical, you know, experience. If we've done it right, it looks like, wow, it's just flawless. Any performer is lying if they say they don't want an audience out there giving them something back, you know. I know my path is rough and steep, but golden... I, I have people that have said unbelievably touching and moving things to me. And that's one of the great things about singing at Macaroni Grill is you got... In fact, I'd have to say I've gotten more jobs out of singing there than just about anything I've done since I've been back in Memphis but I do make a lot of personal connections uh, with people. <laughs> Singing something or doing something artistic that touches somebody in that way, that reminds them of something, that's where it's worth it to me. Uh, I will try to vocalize for at least 20 minutes before a show. Debbie will play for me sometimes and take me through something. But there's a series of vocalises that I do. Uh, and I tell my students that you're trying to reinforce the good habits. I want you to be in charge of your voice, not your voice in charge of you. I try to do something every day to kind of see where I am. If you go back and look at history, when a culture is artistically void, it really doesn't survive very long. People have to have an artistic expression. Without that, we, we definitely don't survive as a culture and a people, I don't think. I, I think if you are musically or artistically inclined, and you're living in Memphis. You have so many avenues to be exposed to. It is a rich musical heritage. It's, uh, it's an amazing experience.